You know, recently I've been getting some direct messages asking, hey Jim, how can I spice up my quarantine with fantastic food? Well, here's one of the things you can do. You can have hot dog fest. Now, America's favorite quarantine cooking show is Let's get cooking. Today we're gonna talk about Hot Dog Fest. Now, for Hot Dog Fest to be about hot dogs, you're gonna need a thing I call hot dogs. Now, the fest part, that can be many different things. Of course, me as a, as a Latina tend to think of things in kind of a Latin flair. But we're gonna focus on a general fest. Let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. Now, first, we're gonna have to do is get these hot dogs out of their hot dog case. Now, be careful of that hot dog juice. That's some 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 pretty tricky stuff. Look at that beauty. We got one, two, three, a bunch of them. Now, what we're gonna do is, since it's hot dog fast, we need to make the hot dogs fun. What we're gonna do is a little thing I call making them into spiders. Please tell me you're joking. Let's get cooking. So come on here, take your scissors, chop here, get in real close there. And what you'll see later on when we start cooking, let's get cooking, is they'll turn into little te 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 tentacles. Let's get cooking, let's get cooking, let's get cooking, let's get cooking, let's get cooking. A lot of people were like, Jim, how come you're so good at this? Frankly, it's just a lot of it's just experience and just being naturally good at electric cooking. Boom, boom. Now, some of the people may be asking, they're like, hey, Jim, I love hot dogs, but how am I gonna eat it without getting my hands all greasy? Well, that's a good question. I've tried the gloves. Gloves, you know, are kind of cumbersome. They're awkward on a date. But another thing you can do is you can use something, come on over here. A thing I call a bun. Now a lot of people are unfamiliar with buns, but these, these are hot dog buns. So you can hold it, you can eat it. I'm pretend eating now. This is not real eating. And so what I do is I put them in the warmer so that they can be warm. Because I don't like toasted hot dog buns. That's just for weirdos. Now let's talk about the fast part of Hot Dog Fest. Fast, of course, is short for part, uh, uh, the party part of the Hot Dog Fest is what I'm gonna work on here. Now what I'm doing here is I'm making Jim's famous meatball. Now some of you might recognize this if you watch Dinner with the Gaffigans. I made my meatballs and I dumped them in my famous sauce. But what we do is we take it out of the sauce and we're gonna reheat it and these kids are gonna go crazy. I mean, don't be surprised if there's some screaming you hear at your house at home. Anyway, so let's get cooking. Now, other things we're gonna do, come on over here for our hot dog fest, because it is a party, is I'm gonna do a little thing I call mac and cheese. Now, what's unique about this mac and cheese, what makes it a gym specialty, is I bought it online, pre-cooked, and I stuck it in the oven for a half an hour. Let's get cooking. Now let's talk about a little bit about condiments. So come on over here. A lot of people are wondering, hey Jim, what do you put on a hot dog? Let's get cooking. Do you put mustard? Do you put ketchup? Is ketchup wrong? I, you know, a lot of people think of me as the hot dog king. I think there's no limitation to what you can put on a hot dog. You can put mustard, ketchup, sauerkraut, other things, a bunch of other stuff. But let's go through some of the stuff I'm gonna have in my hot dog fest, because that's what's gonna make it fun. Come on in here. So what I'm gonna do is the lettuce that was from Taco Night last night, that'll be available in case some weirdo wants that. Taco sauce, people might like taco sauce on their hot dog. Let's do that. Hey Jim, just calling to make sure that this isn't the footage for the taco episode. Let's get cooking. Wait, how did you make that whip noise? Let's get cooking. Chopped onions, my wife loves them. Let's get cooking. Mustard, probably hot dog's best friend. Let's get cooking. Mayonnaise, if you have young kids that are annoying like mine, they'll put mayonnaise on your hot dog. You can fight it, but they're happy and it stops them from talking. Let's get cooking. Looks like we're out of ketchup. We're always out of ketchup. Let's get cooking. This is some special mustard from Milwaukee. And my blushing bride loves spicy. 
So let's get cooking. But one of the things I would also add is beef sauce that I used on my garbage plate. And that makes it kind of like a chili dog, similar to a Coney Island hot dog in Detroit. Well, let's get cooking. Now, what I think is the most exciting part of creating hot dog fest is the cooking of hot dogs. I've uh, got some help here from a young man named Pat, who uh, is a big fan of the show, Let's Get Cooking, right Pat? Yeah. And what do you love most about the show, Let's Get Cooking? Um. Uh, where, um, where? Uh, you know, I get nervous around celebrities too. But Pat, let's get to the hot dog part. Very delicately, put the hot dogs and dump them in there. So Patrick, go ahead. This is known as teamwork. You know, one day, Patrick, when you're older, you can say, I remember cooking hot dogs with my dad during the quarantine. And your grandkids can go beep 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 beep. We'll go like this. We'll go like this. And then here, let me see something. Let me see something. Why are you hitting yourself with the hot dog? I'm just joking. Now come on in here tight, Katie. What we got here is a little thing called hot dogs cooking. So many sausages. Yeah, well, these are hot dogs. You know, to an untrained eye, you might not know that these are hot dogs, but these are in fact hot dogs. Now, what I like to do is I like to cover them up, and then, Patty, you give them a quick, let's get cooking. Go ahead. Okay, here, I'll give them one just in case. Let's get cooking. See how I did that? You try it. Let's get cooking. You're young, you're young. You'll get it eventually. Maybe, probably not. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, wow, <laughs> not suitable for work. Am I right, ladies, or fellas, or I don't know what that means. Here we are, the hot dogs, they are a cooking. I said let's get cooking, and they're cooking. Come on in, let's see some of these hot dogs at work. Boom, bada bing, Hots and Pops Incorporated. You know, I tell you something, when you have an expertise, you wanna share it. I wanna share my knowledge of how to make hot dogs with really the world, you know? I know that mostly Americans, but there's also foreigners watching and they're just as good as normal people, but they're just, they've got weird accents. Let's get cooking, let's get cooking. Hi, I'm Patrick and I'm gonna show you how I set the table for a hot dog cook. Let's get cooking. What do we have here? What's this first one? Okay, and what do we have over, what's? This is mayonnaise and ketchup, a mix, but we call it um, the gym special sauce. Okay, and what's what's that sauce? This is another kind of gym special sauce. Okay, what's that right there? Mustard. Okay, and, and what do we have there? That, that's mayonnaise. And this is another version of gym special sauce. Well, it's barbecue sauce. My dad mixed in a little, little tiny ingredients. Yeah. To make it even better. The most important ingredient is little specks of yummy things. Oh, okay. And that's Jim's special lettuce. Okay, and what's that? This is Tabasco brand pepper sauce. What's your favorite sauce on the table? Mustard, right? Yeah. All right, thanks, Pat. Here we are. Here's the elements of hot dog fest. Oh, there's the hot dog buns, the hot dogs, chili, and there's the barbecue sandwich known as the Mike and J the Pat and Jim barbecue sandwich, right? And then there's Jim's special sauce. There's mac and cheese. There's lettuce. There's barbecue sauce for the pork sandwich if people want it. That was fun, right? Let's get cooking. Hit the subscribe button down below, and then we'll get back to cooking. Let's get cooking. That's how you cut, right?